Okay, people. Coming back, bringing you the juice, freshly squeezed, of course. But before we get into this story that I know you guys are going to be interested in, because I've wondered the same thing myself. I've asked myself the same question that I know you guys have been asking as well, and I'm going to try to get an answer for you today. Um, before I get into it, though, can you do me a favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Not the subscribe button you see in front of me, the one that's down below your video that's, that's black with white writing. Tap on that notification bell and leave me a comment in the comment section if you like the content. Beautiful Cabo, Mexico. The place where you go for fun in the sun, total relaxation, quick trips to places that you've never seen before, dining in areas and eating food that you've never experienced right from the source before. Such a beautiful place. How could a beautiful place like this villa in Cabo, Mexico turn so ugly? Well, guys, we all know the story of Shanquilla Robinson and what happened in that villa in Cabo, Mexico. Sources says that there will be pictures released probably tomorrow by Metropoli MX site in Mexico showing more pictures of Sanquilla after her crossing over. Apparently, someone asked the same question that I asked. Who dressed Sanquilla? When we saw what went on on the video and we saw the blatant out, all, all out attack, Sanquilla was actually nude. So my question is, who dressed Shanquilla? Why was she dressed? And how was she dressed when the doctor and the law enforcement officials arrived on the scene? Now we remember guys, seeing Shanquilla being basically attacked violently by Deja Nay Jackson, who was supposed to be a good friend of hers, and they all had traveled to Mexico to vacation for Deja Nay's birthday and their other friend Nazia Wiggins' birthday. But we all know what happened because we've all seen the video. And for those of you who haven't seen the video, I don't show it here out of respect for her, out of respect for her family and just out of respect for a woman who's no longer with us at all, period. So if you want to see the video, you will have to travel to another site to see the video. The Cabo Six, who three of them are featured here, Nazia Wiggins, Winter Donovan, and Elise Hyatt, were all present at the time when the event happened, the tragic incident. They, along with Dejanay and two other friends, traveled to Mexico for the vacation. And they were there when this tragedy occurred. Also, the best friend, the person that was considered the best friend of Shanquilla whose name is Khalil Cook and featured here in this picture, was also there present during the time the violent beating was occurred. Now question, and I ask this question again, if Shanquilla was beaten in this bedroom, and this is the room, and it should be the actual room because I actually searched for that particular villa which shows you 
the inside of it gives you a virtual tour. If she was being beaten in this room here, can somebody explain to me and make me understand how is it that she ended up here in this bedroom after the beating, well not in the bedroom, in this living room after the beating. Now that's the question guys, that's the question that we all want to know. I've been asking and you've been asking. And also, how did she end up fully dressed? Sources from Metropolitan MX has noted and has said that tomorrow and today is December 26th, there should be pictures coming out. And from what I'm being told, it should be pictures coming out of Shanquilla actually lying in the living room on the floor, fully dressed, and fully dressed in biker shorts, pink biker shorts to be exact, and a black t-shirt. Now guys, when she was being attacked, we saw ourselves that she was nude, okay? Now, if the, the, the blow that took her away was the one that we saw Dejanay do, then she was still nude. And if she had a broken neck and a cracked spine during that time, then it wouldn't be possible for her to be able to dress herself because in one of my prior videos, it was said that once that happens, then she's no longer able to use anything. She's in state of paralysis. So that would lead me to believe that one of these or two or more or even all of these friends went to Donovan Dejanay Jackson, who was the one who actually was the violent beater, Elise Hyatt, or Malik Dyer, could have possibly been involved in trying to get her dressed and get her clothes on and get her out to that living room, or Khalil Cook, her best friend, could it have been him or Nazir, who says he wasn't there and that she was alive when he got there. So if she was alive and when she got there, then what you guys think? Do I hear the word conspiracy that some of them got had gotten together to get her dressed, to stage the scene, to make it look as though it was all maybe an accident and she maybe had fallen and hurt herself due to the fact that they are trying to blame alcohol poisoning. The source is saying that they think that the medical personnel is alleged that they already knew that something was going on because they're saying that the pictures that's supposed to be released tomorrow has looks on their faces that tells that they knew that something was wrong. And they're also saying that two people from associates from the American Red Cross had also come to the scene and that they may have actually seen or noticed something themselves. They, we already know that the, the med, there was a medical in the scene and that the doctor lied and it seemed as though it was a cover up for money that caused the doctor to decide that she needed to lie about this situ situation. And it's alleged a cover up and thought to be a cover up because how else would the Cabo 6 be able to live without giving in a statement? Leave without giving in a statement. And also, it said that there was $17,000 found in San Quilla's luggage and that money is not accounted for, so it seems as though it may be used as a bribe. But at either rate, people, we won't know what the real truth is until someone actually starts talking. And in the meantime, we are going to continue 
to seek justice for this beautiful young lady, as I say every time, this beautiful little angel that's gone too soon. We're going to continue to put the word out there and keep it out there, and we're going to continue this until justice is found for her. Rest in peace, beautiful angel. As always, I thank you guys. I thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You've been so, so, so faithful to the videos. And that's why I've been going out of my way to make sure that you get the most updated information that I can come up with. And I'm usually digging and searching and reading all day long. But guys, I need you to do that favor for me if you didn't do it at the beginning of the video. I need you to hit that subscribe button and not the subscribe button that's on the screen here in red in front of me. I need you to hit that subscribe button below this video. I need you to also tap on that notification bell so you can get the updates as I give them out. You'll be notified when the videos drop. If you like the video, click like. And please leave me a comment because I always want to know what it is that you guys are looking for and that you all have to say in reference to this event. Thank you guys. Much, 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 much love to all of you guys. Smooches. Mm -hmm.